Ass Titties. Hello, trick theorists. Welcome back to Talking Tricks. Today, we're gonna be con uh, we're gonna be tackling compound, sequential, and unified transitions. Mm. Uh, and by this, you may have uh, you know remembered in our single leg, uh, our single sequential and unified transitions episode that we did kind of talk about these ones. Yeah. But uh, upon you know further study of these we kind of uncovered a lot of additional permutations of these compound sequential and unified transitions yeah. that just haven't been labeled or like you know people don't really do it just made it so much more complex than we initially thought <laughs> like it was bad yeah there, so. <laughs> there's there's truly a lot of options and a lot of creativity that can be you know expressed here with these mm -hmm. um and like redirect and bound uh, or these are the ones that we're going to be talking about, but these are like traditionally very neglected transitions already. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, I feel it, like even redirect people are just like, ah, oh, he's just walking into the next trick. Like you yeah, know what I mean? It's like exactly, you know, uh, like the concept of like the basic redirect, which we've already ta tackled, is like mm -hmm. is kind of known, but also kind of ambiguous as to what exactly is happening. Um, so before we get started with any specific ones, mm -hmm. I wanted to preface how exactly we discovered these new, um, variations of redirect and, uh, bound. Mm -hmm. And that's by looking at, uh, the actual, uh, default, uh, redirect. Yeah. Um, so de default redirect, if, for those who don't know, it's just one, two, one, one, two, one. And that's something like you would do a side swipe into a rise or a TD rise or something like that. Like you see, it's pretty common on the right foot variation. I think left yeah. foot variation is definitely way less common, but still redirect. Yeah. Um, and yeah. something that this, um, there's actually in the base redirect, there's also several key properties that we've uh, noticed and made like, you know, that they were important enough. And they kind of like help set the rules for these other ones that we have. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so some of the rules that we've discovered in regards to like um, the compound, these extra compound sequential transitions and unified mm -hmm. ones is that they typically involve six steps. Yeah. And so we try to keep it down to six steps, mm -hmm. um, like six, like, you know, feet lifting and taking off the ground. Yeah. So every, every instance of a number, yeah. whether it's a one or a two is a step. Yeah. And uh, that's what I mean by six steps. Right. And it's. And we kind of like this, this came about naturally by working on our theory of transitions and stuff and seeing that sequential was basically just another step into a unify or I'm sorry, a single leg mm -hmm. and like, yeah, vice versa. And then this is just a natural extension of that. Yeah. And, um, we do talk about whether or not we should have more steps in it. And mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we'll talk about it more with bound specifically, right. but essentially though, like, you know, we try to keep Re yeah. it at six. Re Redirect, we limited it as spe specifically to six. I bound, we also did kind of, but we'll might talk about some more steps, but right. six seems to be like a sweet spot where it's just like, if you start to do more past that, it's like, ah, you're just like chilling until you do the next trick. Yeah. You, you've broken up your combo <laughs> yeah. with too many steps. Exactly. We have to draw the line somewhere, right? As an arbitration, but that's not to say that you can't maybe do something that looks cool and has like ten steps or some shit. Yeah, they're they're gonna have even numbers though. Is and, a mathematical truth of that, <laughs> right? That's the next uh, interesting key factor was that um, because like uh, we have two feet and we have six steps, so naturally we can divide it in half, like three steps on each leg. Mm -hmm. But we found that it actually has to be um, two, two, and four. two and four on any one or other foot. Yeah. And that's because uh, if you do it with three, you end up either on the ground or midair to take off into your next trick. Yeah, and exactly. it just it just doesn't work without any extra steps involved. So yeah, um, it yeah we it has to have either uh, two and four. And the spread has to be two and four as well. Right. It can't be spread any other. So yeah, there has to be two twos and four two, yeah. ones. Two steps on your left foot and four on your right foot or four on your right or four on your left, two on your right. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't know. That's just kind of like, I mean, we spent like, I don't know, like two hours today just like mathematically crunching these numbers <laughs> and yeah. trying to figure out permutations and all this shit. So it took a second to like figure these out. Yeah, we did <laughs> so, We did the best that we could. There's And yeah. there's probably some that we're missing. Uh, so one that I actually thought of that I know we're missing for sure is all ones. 
<laughs> is like six ones. Oh, but oh, I don't. No. I wouldn't even count that though. Yeah, that would so, be that like, would just be a single leg. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It's just an it's an ultra carry through. It's yeah. like a super carry through. <laughs> this is cursed. Don't don't do ultra carry through. Yeah, That's no. not a thing. <laughs> It's just carry through. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so we, we kind of mathematically messed with the numbers. And the way that we split it up is we treated it. So sequential specifically, we split it as if they were mixtures of different uh, simple transitions. And what I mean by that is like, it's a vanish with a reversal, or it's a carry through with a reversal, or it's a skip with a, with a carry through in the middle. Yeah. You know, that's kind of what we use to gauge this. And the, the way we did it is like... Uh, it's ambiguous, is the thing, is the it's problem. Ex- well, yeah, it's extremely <laughs> ambiguous because multi- m- the way that we describe them, like, these trans- these number of foot patterns can be described with tricking terminology in more ways than one. Yeah. And particularly with bound. Um, and you'll understand what we mean by that, too. Yeah, there's, a mo- there's multiple that. different ways to label these things, yeah. and uh, the idea of whether or not we call them all redirect and call them all bound is, like, another thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I... Like... It would obviously be a hassle to, like, have a unique name for every single one of them, because then you have so much to remember. But at the same time, they do seem, like, different enough to from redirect that it's, like, I, I don't know, like, it might need some extra categorization. Right, and to give you an idea of, like, how many extra, like, unique variations there are to redirect alone, we have at least ten. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that would There's be... There's twelve in total. Yeah, there would be... Including, would to, including redirect, so eleven past redirect. Yeah, so you would have to be, like, you know... <laughs> I mean, you'd have to, like, have ten different names for that kind of trick. Or we could... A, a theory that I have that's bad and cursed and <laughs> requires a lot of memorization is to be, like, redirect one through ten <laughs> and know which one's which. There's no signifier. No. It, it's, it's, actually, it's actually terrible. There's This is garbage. And, <laughs> but it was also fun and something that we discovered yeah. and when we were creating yeah. talking tricks. So we definitely wanted to share because it's just really interesting. It, exactly. My theory for, or my philosophy for sharing these ideas is that, like, they're, most of these are probably going to look like shit. But there's probably going to be, like, at least one or two that are going to be like, okay, wait, that's something that could be used. Maybe in very specific scenarios, if that, like, you know what I mean? But, like it would look cool and it would definitely increase the creativity and it would like, you know, make people just do weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, for sure. And that's, that's really where I'm at with it too, is like, I know that a lot of this is probably ridiculous mm-hmm. uh, and that it's also very strange and new and uh, you know, just out there. It's, it's along the lines of like the muggle slayer and short complete stuff. Right. Exactly. Like, it's like that weird unexplored area. Yeah. But at the same time, you're right. I think it, there could be like some practical use applications and like it could end up looking really cool Mm -hmm. and something uh additionally that i want to touch up on in regards to like regulating and determining whether or not something is like a redirect uh that we used in our previous transitions is like amount of rotation Mm, and so because like redirect and uh, bounds are basically like uh two sequential or uh two compound transition two sequential transitions too were, simple, yeah yeah you know two simpler transitions yeah stuck together uh that will will kind of maintain the same rule that they each one can't go past 360 so a collective you can't go past 720 right degrees of rotation 270 yeah no i mean com- oh a total, so okay actually, i see so you can get to 360 you can, you can only get to 540 yeah as, as far as you could go ah, you can I only see. twist one and a half times during the duration of your transition okay. if it's a carry through yeah, or good. a redirect it's a but, good rule <laughs> yeah but that'll that'll actually give you plenty of room though to to get into appropriate landing stances for appropriate takeoffs mm-hmm. for the different types of uh transitions that's a, that's another thing to ones. know is that like these transitions more than any other transition that we talked about has multiple ways to do it mm-hmm. like it's stylistically and also rotation wise and also like what tricks you can do out of it like you know they're, they're like the most expansive type. right and it's actually and it's the most complicated to actually measure and like enumerate too because uh if if we look at what we said in uh, the sequential transitions episode about vanish right like mm-hmm. a vanish was just a way to get to a wrap or a swing or a, another single leg transition right well this is all still the same case mm-hmm. but like now it's like it, it's just like it's so abstracted with numbers mm-hmm. That like you can still wrap it out of any of the one or two, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, no, I know. Or, what you mean, or yeah. it could be a swing, or it could be a wrap full, yeah. or it could be a. a we lotus. we don't call it that, but yeah, there is a swing occurring. There's a wrap it occurring. There's a whatever. Yeah, at, at the end of each of these, and then yeah. and that's not to say that one is always a swing. One could mm-hmm. be a wrap, or like a regular backswing, or a front swing, or yeah. you know, like, and, and that's just what's so like, just 
<laughs> overwhelming about these extra compound sequential transitions is that yeah. there's just so much possibility yeah. that it's this it's honestly really taxing even just to come up with a list of the foot pattern it literally took us a whole ass second yeah. and we had repeats and we had ones that didn't work and we had to cross off we're gonna have like all these numbers it's, it's gonna be really hard to follow just like verbally and like we do recommend you do this as we're saying them but also we're gonna have the numbers down in the description so you can check that out so you can really understand because like even me and jason talking in person naming the numbers and doing it it's still like hard to grasp <laughs> oh no even even when you have the numbers themselves in front yeah. of you and you're like looking at them and looking at the patterns mm -hmm. it may help but like it, it will not compare to going out and actually like uh mocking these stances with like actual like the the tricking dance essentially is what i'll call it yeah <laughs> yeah you don't have to like do the tricks per se but just like okay i just landed a B twist. Let me do this type of redirect. Right, like mock, blah, mock blah, 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 blah. the redirect with the footsteps. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And and one other thing I wanted to mention because I I talked about how like takeoff is left ambiguous in these setups because mm -hmm. it's always bound or redirect instead of front swing etc. Mm -hmm. uh, but like in addition to that, like in the same way we were talking again with sequential, if like you landed in complete and then vanished into hyper to wrap nine. Mm -hmm. Well, like, the same thing applies at each step of the carry-through, I mean, of the redirects and the bounds. Mm -hmm. So, like, your landing stances at each at each step could be, you know, completely different from a bound that follows the exact same, or bound or redirect that follows the exact same pattern. Right, So the like foot pattern. Yeah, so, like, the, the, same, foot, the foot pattern could be the same, but the landing stances that you reach <laughs> at, in during that could be entirely different. And, yeah. I mean, that's just another, another a weird just factor Quirk, of these yeah. yeah it just makes it hard to well because the language of 3d space like it's just impossible <laughs> to grasp like you know what i mean it's like we're, we're never gonna have a perfect trick theory All right, you yeah. know what i mean for sure so, it just i i just wanted to make but... those points to you because like it, there's a lot of ambiguity mm -hmm. a lot of confusion already and uh just understand that you know we're trying to figure it out as we go as well exactly but to get into it yeah, we without uh, further ado exactly so get ready uh, so we started by listing so uh, tricks or sorry transitions that can be matched together for sequential include carry through vanish reversal and skip okay i know carry through is a single leg one but that can kind of it it, it plays a part within uh, compound transitions right and so what I mean by that is that like it, you can carry through in the middle of a vanish and that's a compound transition and right and in fact carry through in the middle of a reversal is actually the definition of what a redirect is because it's a one two two one but it's split up by the one one yeah and, and, and so what's actually interesting too is when we say carry through we actually mean like a, a step that's repeated so like a one one and when this happens in redirect mm -hmm. it's actually the inverse of a true carry through yeah. Where a carry through uh, like identifies like the the takeoff and then the landing. Yeah. This is the the, the well, this is actually the landing and then the takeoff. Yeah. So it's uh it's just something to note that yeah. when you see it, it's kind of like it's it's flipped. Yeah, exactly. So, but, but so I named all these uh, transitions that we can do. So the way that we listed it is we started with carry through and we listed everything that you could start out with carry through and then moved on from there. So we and then we went to vanish and we said everything you could start out with vanish and blah blah blah. So to begin, we're gonna start with carry throughs, right? Right. So the very first one is gonna be one 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 two one two, and that is a carry through into vanish. Why is it a carry through into vanish? The one one happens first, and then you got the one two one two. That's the vanish, right? right? So you could think of this as like if you landed a full and you were going to swing, but instead of swinging, right, you carry through to mega, mm -hmm. and then you then put your right foot down if you're twisting to the left, of course. Yeah, and uh, just vanished out, vanish rise, right? Vanish rise, vanish yeah. kicks. Anything. This this one's one of the more viable ones in my opinion. I think it actually look good. Yeah, I've so. actually experimented with this. I showed you that yeah, video yeah, clip yeah. to kind of present this idea to you. Yeah, exactly. It was me doing this into rise. Yeah, full I swing into <laughs> or full into rise, full back rise. I, I think it's hard. really sick. And then like to counteract that, I think carry through into a reversal is like, eh. like carry through into reversal is a one 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 two two one yeah right and so that same concept here except that the the end the last two like the foot pattern is switched yeah instead of one two it's two one right so here instead of doing like a rise you could have done like reversal or uh yeah reversal like aerial, aerial or yeah. a twist or mm -hmm. um i just feel like it looks a little more sillier because you're doing that one so much you're 
you're taking that leg off and then you're putting yeah. it back on and then you're yeah. pivoting and then you're whatever. And well, it's and it's, like... it's a lot like, <laughs> it's a lot like reversal too. It, it, that's the thing is that it, these take on the properties of their lesser parts and mm-hmm. that like, if you look at reversal, like it, a reversal with your dom is especially useless because it's like your foot <laughs> just accidentally grazing the ground. <laughs> that's literally, except reversal GMS. You made reversal GMS look great. Yeah. So, so but that's the thing is like, it's, it's mostly just a stylistic <coughs> difference and something that's like, mm-hmm. it's optional. It's creative. It's like, why does it exist? It exists because it can be done. Yeah. And so it may not look great all the time, but there's probably some application for it. Exactly. And so the last one in our carry through option that, you know, it starts with carry through, I should say, is one, one, that's the carry through part. And then we got one, one, two, two, and that is carry through and a skip because yeah. one, one, two, two is skip. Right. And, and this one's actually also probably pretty viable if you thought that the carry through into vanish was, mm-hmm. and this is like, this follows the same thing as the difference between vanish and skip. Yeah. So you'll land like your full on just your left leg and then carry through to mega and right. then jump to semi or whatever right leg landing you want. Yeah. And then jump off that right leg. Yeah. It's a lot of jumping from one leg to the other. <laughs> I feel like this looks a little sillier because you're jumping on that first leg four times, right? It's a one, 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 well, one. Jumping, yeah, it's, you jump twice off it. Yeah, well, exactly. And, and then you go into the skip. Um, but I agree. I think it's pretty viable. I, the one that I like more is the one that we were doing at gym the other day, which is one, one, two, two, one, one. Which is, I guess, is that carry through like split up by skip? I don't yeah, even know if we have that. It's it's, car- it's uh, skip into carry through. I think that's actually one we didn't write down. Fun fact. So like, there's definitely it's one. Actually, s- it's actually like a skip into a skip. <laughs> yeah. It, no, you're right. You're right. It is a skip into a skip. I really like that one a lot. I thought that one looked cool. I did five forty, and then that super skip into rise. Yep. So it was like it was like a carry through with an extra step, kind of in a way. Yeah. Um, but it felt really cool. So that's one that we actually didn't list. So like, I I know okay, for good. I yeah, know no. for a fact we're missing some. Yeah. Like like, um, it, there's just so much to account for. But uh, we try to do our best to be thorough. Um, next but, the family yeah. of redirects we have are vanish, and so we kind of like tried to identify this as best as we could um, with the one two blank one two landing and takeoff. So yeah. like you'll you'll land sequentially and take off sequentially essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what happens in the middle is it's like as vague and is a step. Yeah. And so our first pattern is one two one one, one two, mm-hmm. and that is like a vanish with that carry through or that adjustment step in the middle, and this mm-hmm. is actually really close to a regular reverse, uh, regular redirects, mm-hmm. but in the the last two foot patterns are switched. Yeah. Um, so it, I mean, it, it's actually kind of close to what we would understand as a reversal if redirect were vanish. <laughs> but that's actually yeah. the inverse when it comes to redirect. Uh, <laughs> reversal is normal and vanish is awkward. Yeah, exactly. So uh, make of that what you will. That is funny. Uh, actually, additionally, <laughs> because we've already done sequential stuff, we can actually also look at the alternative version of the carry through, mm-hmm. or that's the carry through with the second foot. Yeah. So the pattern I'm talking about here will be one, two, 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 one, two. Yeah, so instead of those two in the middle being ones, they're twos. Right, so that's that's like if you were to step, it's like land right, or land left, right, step right up, and then put right down, and then... Pick up right again. And then pick up right, left. <laughs> or actually, uh, it would be left and right on the last two. Yeah, you're right. Dude, land left, so crazy. step right, pick up right, put down right. Pick up left, pick up left. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> it is really dumb. I, I don't think that one is probably as viable. No, but it's, it's, it's like I said, the inverse. <laughs> prove me wrong, please. <laughs> All right. All right, next one we have. So now we're going to do vanish at the beginning. So now we have vanish into carry through. And vanish into carry through would be one, two, one, two, two, two. And, but there's an alternate version as well. It's one, two, one, two, one, one. So what do these two different ones look like? Um, so the first one obviously vanish into carry through. One, two, one. One, two, you're picking up, and then you land on that second foot. So that's going to be a little awkward because you're lifting off your second foot and then landing on your second foot again, and then jumping off again. So Yeah, it's almost like an arbitrary step. Yeah. I feel like it'd kind of look cool, actually, if you do it the right way. Yeah. Like, I feel like you'd do s- something like that into a twist Yeah. in a cool way. You'd have to start out landing left, I believe. Yeah, you'd have to start out landing left. Um, but you can almost, like, vanish go to like semi or ultra whatever the fuck and you end up doing or i guess mega technically because right. you're landing on your left leg um 
But yeah, um, but the other one, so this is what we were talking about when we talk about ambiguity, right? So I said one, two, one, two, one, one, and I said that is a vanish into a carry through. But you can kind of see that as like a vanish into a skip because the second foot picked off and then you land on your the right. And it goes into the first foot and then you take off the first foot again. Yeah. It's very, very reminiscent of a skip. Exactly. So it's like, there's definitely ambiguity when it comes to that. And multiple ways to label them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I don't really have much to say for that one. So I think we can skip on ahead onto our reversal. Nice. there. (laughs) Well, next one's reversal. Okay. But (laughs) but Uh, it would have been been good if it It would have been perfect. I actually did that. Actually, we're going to do skip now. Yeah, fuck it. Skip. (laughs) So skip, actually, we only really identified one real skip, which is kind of weird. Um, I think it's because skip happens in some other ones that we've already counted. Because skip was the last one we went to. So like right. when you're doing permutations and math and shit like that, and the last as, one's as they get the least, yeah, yeah exactly as they get rolled out, you're gonna have less options once you get to the last one. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what happened here. And like so. we said, there's multiple ways to identify and label these. So Interpret like any of these could have been yeah. skip at some point yeah. or skip base, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But the one we have for skip is uh, one one two 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 two. <laughs> so and that skip into a, a carry, carry through, through. Yeah. yeah. So that would be like if you landed left and then skipped to mega, and then skipped again <laughs> to like semi, and then jumped off that right leg into yeah. whatever trick you're gonna do. Exactly, exactly. For left twisters. So yeah, and the, like I said, the one that we didn't mention here is the same thing, but the last two are ones. Yeah. So, so one, it's one, a one two, one two. one one two two. No one one two two one one. We didn't mention it. Oh okay. Um. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's right. We mentioned it earlier on the, the Vanish one. Exactly. Or whatever. So there's not much to say about that. A lot of the skip ones are going to look weird, in my opinion, because of how much you're jumping, like, awkwardly. You're just, like, hopping. It's, yeah, hopping, you're, it's, hopping. It's, it's, it's very much like like a ninja hopping from rooftops. Like, <laughs> it, it's actually kind of cool in that respect, yeah. and I kind of dig it. Yeah. Um, And I think it could turn out like looking pretty good if someone can make it work well someone had the right style for it yeah all right but the last one is going to be the one starting and ending with reversal so like i said with or like jason was saying with the vanishes uh, it's like you had that one two one two and it was split up by something now we have one two two one and split up by something right so the first one is going to be one two that's the the beginning of the reversal part. Then we have one one, which is the carry through, and then we have two one, which is the end of the reversal. Right. So that's reversal with carry through in the middle, um, and this is your plain ass redirect. Yeah. This, this is, is actually like definitely. Like, yeah. Everyone's redirect is probably this. Um, it, exactly. Like in you just gotta slow down the the clips, freeze frame it, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but nine times out of ten, this will be the redirect that most people are doing, and mm-hmm. the other ones that we've mentioned have literally been irrelevant. <laughs> all of literally <laughs> so, so. <laughs> this is the first one that's actually like has practical application that we've seen in the real world and these other ones are just pretty vague and I, i've seen i've seen practical applications for some of these i mean because so. we did them yeah exactly. we did them. <laughs> <laughs> all but right besides that right and so this is also this also has like another uh alternative one that's very similar to that and that's the one two landing two one takeoff but in between we actually have the second foot stepping. So the yeah. pattern is actually one, two, 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 one. Or, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Four, four this twos. looks like a really dumb reversal, in my opinion. Yeah, this is uh, this would be like <laughs> two foot stomps in the middle of your rap. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, you would stomp yeah. your foot twice in the middle of it. I mean, like I said, you can change the, the landing stance just about, you know, with all of these. So, yeah. like, however you can make this work, please... Yeah, make it work. We would love to see that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so now, next up, we have reversal into carry through, which is going to be one, two, two, one, straight up reversal. But the last part is going to be one, one. So one, two, two, one. You're going to lift off. So you're in the air at this point. You're going to land on that first leg again. And then, and then jump right off of it. Yeah. And so this could be, like we said, this could be like into a rapid or into a missed leg. Mm. could even be swung at this yeah. point. Like, don't, don't discount the swing in any exactly. of these. Because traditional reversal on the other side. I, I think this one could sense. actually look cool. Like, I think this could actually be done in... Like, you're almost like reversing your dom. Like, right. you use the reversal to reverse your dom, you twist a little bit, and, and then, then you carry through on. Or yeah. yeah. Actually, I want to I wanna mess with that one. I'm going to note that. Um, okay, absolute last one we're going to talk about is number 12 for redirect, right? 
is going to be 1, 2, 2, 1. So there's your reversal. Now we have the alternate carry through, which is going to be 2, 2 instead yep. of 1, 1. But just like the first one, this one's very similar, except it happens on the second foot that landed, lands. This will typically be the right leg if you landed left, right. Or be the left leg if you landed right, left. You know what I could see someone doing is doing a B twist into this type of redirect into GMS, if that makes any sense. So, like, you B twist, you go the opposite way of your DOM, and then yeah. you land on your right leg. I can see that. That'd be really cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Someone hey. do this. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, I mean, that's all the redirects. Like I said, there's, it's, it's kind of hard to say a lot about it because, like, they're just so abstract. I feel like more people need to do this shit before we have a true understanding of, like, yeah. how, how viable they are and shit like that. Maybe one day we'll make a sampler where we do all of these redirects. <laughs> and we'll actually label the foot patterns and everything. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Also, not confirmed, but I may spend the next gym session literally trying to get all of these. Yeah. Of all these. Trying to get videos of all these so that you guys could see it. Um, like, you know, really simple comps. I'm not do anything crazy. It's like tornadoes into whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, but I just, at least, so you guys can see the steps. Not confirmed. If you don't see it in the description, then and we fuck you. Yet. You know? Yeah, exactly. Um, so now this takes us to unified, right? So unified, unified comp, uh, the unified compound transitions. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> this, like this, we we didn't even come up with all of them. No, we absolutely did not. We actually kind of <laughs> gave up pretty early on the way through because it's just. Uh, I mean, I think we did a pretty good job of listing all the six pattern ones. Yeah, exactly. And so we try to keep the same rules that we kept with redirect in here. And instead of, uh, basically we, we tried to replace any sequential instance with an instance of unified. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's a one, two or one, one or two, two, yeah. it'd be pi instead. You know? Yeah. Well, actually so. no one ones, but two twos for sure. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, yeah. Or one twos or two ones, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we had a whole mathematical formula just... <laughs> Bas basically you remember how on the unified uh transitions episode we talked about bound and we talked or we talked about all of them and we said pi is when you touch both your feet together right so that makes it a little ambiguous when we try to mathematically work these out redirect was very easy we could numerically list every number as representing a unit right like what a number or a value yeah. yeah exactly pi is a little weird because it kind of represents two but it kind of represents one sometimes and so it's like and be, and it allows for odd numbers actually funnily enough so like for example uh well yeah odd numbers in terms of what is written now in terms of the pattern mm -hmm. but like it's actually it all ends up being an even number of steps you're, you're some, not wrong. something to keep yeah. in mind yeah yeah you're not wrong so like for example I, i'm just gonna throw one out there pi one one two one there's three ones and there's one two right yep. Those are both odd numbers, but the reason they work out is because you have an extra one and an extra two from the That's pi. stored in pi. Exactly. Yeah. It's like storing that information. You're not wrong. Right. So, it, yeah, it's just, it gets complicated. and It does get really complicated. And there's just, and because, and what, like, if you thought, like, bound was bad because the initial bound had three permutations based off of the first redirect, mm -hmm. yeah. which is true. I mean, this is kind of like, the same theory applies further to bound because... Yeah. of the fact that and, and it does kind of even itself out because of the fact that there is like a unified landing or a unified takeoff yeah or both i mean like the fact that something has to be unified helps reduce the number of permutations but it's still pretty uh pretty out there yeah with just exactly. how much can be done exactly so i guess to start we're just going to start with one of the simpler ones and that's pi pi one one right yeah so so this is any unified landing and then a unified takeoff but from that takeoff you'll land on one foot left or right yeah and then take off of that left or right foot so that would be like a rapid or a missed leg style or any single leg yeah. it would be a unified landing unified takeoff into a single leg landing and a single leg takeoff exactly exactly it feels like carry through in a sense in that way yeah that's not a true one but it is close to yeah. actually it's very close to carry through mm -hmm. uh in that you know it's like a jump from one leg to the other exactly close to skip too yeah exactly so that's pi pi one one uh now we got pi this is the one i mentioned before pi one one Two, one and something interesting to know about bound like we said in the previous episode is that pi just has to happen at a point it doesn't have to end in a or in a start pi. yeah or it, anything it could, exactly. you could literally be transitional in the middle, in, yeah. In the middle. yeah exactly <laughs> you could do a sequential trick or uh, sorry a single leg trick into a single leg trick and still use a bound to mm -hmm. get from it to but this you'd be landing two legs right so pi one one 
two one right so pi you lift your first leg up you put your first leg down again then you and lift then your you second like leg up yeah so, yeah exactly that it's like a almost a reverse pop kind of yeah I see this as a good way to like continue your dom. Like you know what I mean? Is like yeah. when you pick up that first leg up, it's like you're you land, can twist one eighty. Yeah, land unified incomplete. Step over to mega with yeah. your left leg. Mm-hmm. Kick right leg back. Take off left leg. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I agree. And you can do this with each with whichever leg because pi is ambiguous. That's the weird thing. Is like pi, and then I say one. One can be your left leg or your right leg, even right. though it wasn't the first instance, which is weird. <laughs> like, yeah, you know? ex- well, that's the thing. That, that's exactly what we were saying. So, like, yeah. in the the combo above, too, like, I had already said it could be, could have been, like, unified landing, then unified takeoff into a, a left or a right leg landing, mm-hmm. but that's essentially two different types of bounds. Yeah. So, like, we've already covered four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite literally. So, next one would be pi one one pi. I feel like this is one of the more common bounds, maybe. Like, you land one leg, or you bam, land both legs, you pick up one leg, you, like, rotate 90 degrees, land on it again, and then punch. Take off both of them, yeah. Yeah, take off. This is like uh, this is like a reverse pop into a pop. Um, oh, you're right. Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, and um, it's weird. It's definitely weird. And uh, it could be done with either the left leg or the right leg, so that makes it one of two. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, actually, I don't think this one's pretty well done and then the problem is like the lack of unified landing and the unified takeoff tricks yeah it's just the, yeah. you're not wrong triggers don't do shy away from that and i kind of i personally like i'm not very personal level like that i like i like single leg stuff a lot yeah so like i'm not really a punchy type tricker like don't get me wrong i definitely do do those like i do pops and punches and shit like that but for the most part i like single leg tricks i like swings i like you know rapids and shit you know as a trigger so. who likes to do punches more than pumps mm-hmm. i think i might be drawn to stuff like bound because True. of like just the weirdness of it like, yeah i, I could know. see that actually because it's like you're just taking off two feet it feels raw it's like ah, uh, yeah, yeah. it awesome. is very it is very like like we said it's a very primal very like <laughs> ungabunga like Unga- <laughs> very like you know just kind of like yeah. primitive not you know it's like it's like it's like gymnastics before they discovered they could do single leg stuff. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> it yeah, became tricking. <laughs> but um, a bad analogy, but essentially what we're trying to get. No, at. I feel you. Gymnastics is very unga bunga. Yeah. Um. Okay. So the next one is going to be one one pi pi, and this is like a carry through into a punch, right? So you land that first leg, you jump off the second leg. Uh, you're that sec- that first leg, I mean, and then you land two feet punch. You know yeah. what I mean? So I mean, there's not much to say about this one. I feel like it's just. It's it's weird. It's, it it's interesting. What it is. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it is like a carry through into a pop. Yeah, punch, a punch. Kinda, yeah, yeah, I feel I like know. people can make that probably make it look interesting. Yeah. Um, but next one after this is one. oh, uh, to oh. know this one can't exist as two two because pi hasn't happened yet. Oh yeah, so, so it has to be one one. Yeah, so it like I mean it, it'll always be the first leg. Yeah, and never the second because leg. It could be left or right. right. It yeah. only matters when pi happens before any sort of. Thing is declared it, exactly just like this next one this next one's one two pi one one it has to be that because because you can't you can't land two, two one, one yeah that would be one two <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so one two it's like a vanish type thing but then you jump oh it's like a pop thing actually because yeah. you do one two pi and, and then you pop into pop and then you'd land on one leg yeah. and then jump off that single leg yeah and we we switch that around for the next one that's one two pi 2-2, two, two, yeah, which and is this landing one, on the other leg. This one can be different because we landed sequentially yeah. initially and then used the unified takeoff. We define which leg is 1 and which leg is 2 already, so it, it matters now. You right, know what I mean? yeah, exactly. So, Whereas with pi, it was ambiguous beforehand. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that would be like, yeah, that's a pop and 2 carry through like we said before. Um, and then, so the next one's going to be 1-1-2-1-pi. One, 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 so 1-1-2-1, one, one, Two one and then it's like a pop after that. So the the, the two one pi is like a pop and the first part is like a carry through. So yeah, so it's like one one two one pi. Um and then the last one we're gonna hit on. Like I said, there's probably there's way more and there's even like eight step variations which I'm I'm gonna hit on like one of them. Um but the last one we're gonna talk about here is a one two one one pi. So vanish kind of thing. But you lift the first leg, you put the first leg down again, and it's like a pop. Right? Yeah, so. it's it's a lot like reversal in that the the pick up and put down is kind of pointless or could be pointless mm-hmm. depending on which landing stances you use or or switch you, to. Yeah, however you choose to, mm-hmm. you know, stylize your redirect essentially. Yeah, will determine how purposeful or useless that step is. And like yeah, we exactly. said, like a lot of the stuff is pretty unexplored, so we can't 
we can't really say and we can't like we yeah. can only really describe the the concept to you yeah because of how underutilized everything is in this yeah. realm yeah we need you guys to do this shit in order to really understand well, we, it's not only, just like, you guys you know, like we just need help like yeah. i mean <laughs> we can do some of this stuff but i mean like we've literally just listed off like 20 different variations 20 brand new <laughs> variations undone I'd have to spend multiple populace. sessions, like, really exploring that. Yeah, you know I mean? exactly. And then getting it to a point where it's probably, like, displayable. Like, you know, like yeah. <laughs> it so. looked good on an Instagram click. And yeah, clip and shit like exactly. That. So, um, but I guess to finish off with Bound is that there are two ones that I want to hit on that are eight steps that I think look all right. Yeah. And that's, so the first one's going to be Pi, one, two, one, two, one, two, right? And so it's Pi, lift the first leg, lift the second leg. Land first leg, land second leg, pick and then up first take leg. off first leg, second leg. Yeah, and this was something uh, we weren't really sure, like what what value to assign pi in regards to like how many steps it counts. If because it counts if, like one or two, yeah, because yeah. if it counts as one or two in this instance, it is seven, or if it counts as one in this instance, it's seven. If it yeah. counts as two, it's eight. Exactly. And seven does break the rules, but like because it's unified, like I don't know, this one looks actually kind of viable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, my problem with... Okay, so, like, let's say we gave it the number of two, right? Yeah. So now there's a problem with this next one, because this next one is pi, one, one, two, two, pi. Which right? would be a bound skip into another bound. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it is. With, yeah. like, a, like, a true... Like, a unified landing skip into a unified takeoff. Oh, it's not... Is it skip? No, because you're lifting up one leg, putting it down, lifting up the second leg, putting it down. So it's more like a oh, just a step over. Weird. Yeah, it's weird because the one one two two in this instance the the pie fucks it up. Like yep. you know what I mean. So, um, but actually this oh this would be eight actually. So I guess it kind of works as two. I don't I don't know. I remember we had a problem with listing it as two. Though, yeah, somewhere. And it was it, the fact that it became eight. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's just it's fucking weird. So I I don't think there's any mathematical truth here to be honest. Well, that we bound is so ambiguous too. Like trick theory websites or trictionary websites will just list bound as like oh it's an extra step in whatever unified stuff is and just leave it alone and not <laughs> and like, not think like, about it too hard yeah like like pay no attention to the rejected <laughs> transition here um, yeah. <laughs> but like essentially though like i don't think that's the way to treat it like bound deserves respect it yeah. deserves recognition I same agree. with redirect and like we should treat it the same way like it deserves the same level of uh, you know, of metrics, like, measurement metrics, like, yeah, uh, you know, how we determine what is bound, what is what, like, mm -hmm. it, it's just as important as swing. It's just as important as carry through. It's just as important they're, as... They're all transitions. Yeah, exactly. It, and no, I agree with you. There's no... Yeah, it, it, exactly that, and, you know, I mean, that's my opinion on it. Yeah, just well, I think that there well that's be... the whole point of this whole episode, is we want to explore these different neglected you know areas of doing this yeah. shit you know what i mean so and as we've and as we've expanded on our trick three like we've just found missing pieces and mm -hmm. uh, pieces that you know we don't know where they go or right how to use them yet and i don't think anyone really does yeah exactly so these are just logical conclusions that you can take as you will some of them will be dumb some of them will be awesome so right we just want to see it done <laughs> so, yeah we want to see them tried out yeah so, but to kind of close off this episode, I had an original idea with our transitions episode to come up with a... Uh, a combo that utilizes <laughs> every transition. Yeah, and uh, so when I say every transition, we're not going to use these comp like compound transitions that we just use. We're yeah, just we gonna... won't use all 20 permutations, yeah. guys. Relax. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's going to be somewhat doable, kind of, maybe? <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I, I, I would love to see someone do this. If someone could try to do this, I would actually, like... I don't know, I'd kiss you maybe, if you consented. Um, but, you know, <laughs> so... Don't consent. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this this combo that me and Jason came up with has every transition, including bound and redirect, but the most basic form. Right? Yeah, or, well, I wouldn't... Uh, there is no basic form of bound, so... Right, we'll exactly. We'll a basic form of bound. A, yeah, <laughs> we, we came up with a bound to, to do. You know, it's, it's really loosely defined. But the other thing is that it has every type of swing. Um, yes, all it, four types of swing, whether mm -hmm. that's GM, rap, uh, Front load, swing, back swing. We, we didn't do Lotus. Yeah, we... Oh, it's a GM swing. That's right. That's yeah, it is a GM swing. swing. Yeah, I, God. I freaked out for a second. <laughs> I did too. I actually was like, oh no. Yeah, no. So, so yeah, we we did back swing, front swing, uh, GM type, and rap type. Yes. Right. And well, we didn't do both types. We didn't do. We didn't do Mogul Slayer or Lotus. Yeah. Luckily for you guys. Yeah. So it's it's still very very doable. So, yeah. but I guess we could just 
start explaining yeah. our combo. So and we're going to list this also in the description so you can really just have a visual of like what the combo looks like written out. But we started with Hyper Beatus, which is, you know, that's pretty, pretty unassuming. It's, it's not bad. Um, we reversal nine, all right? And what we mean... Pattern by- here would be your right foot landing, mm-hmm. left foot would land and then take off the ground and then you would wrap or rapid or... It's, it's, uh, just think of like a wrap full or a wrap nine, I should say. Yep. And you did it from reversal, which is like hyperbetos, right? So we did reversal reversal nine um, and then you pop full with your dom that we specified. It doesn't really matter to be honest with you, but we did pop full uh, and swing then... Swing through gainer switch. Yep. Swing. So land in, uh, land in complete, mm-hmm. absolute complete mm-hmm. for our <laughs> trick tourists at home. Yeah. Swing through gainer switch Yep. And two. Miss like Beatus, which is you stop your momentum, you go the opposite way, miss like Beatus, vanish ten, which that's already gonna be kind of crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Well but, and then this is actually we actually repeated rap here, because vanish ten is actually just if it's incomplete. It's yeah, but but the transitions the vanish. Yeah, that's true. So, so vanish ten, uh swing through GMS. Right. So that would be the GM swing that we included. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to land in your regular GMS, like you're landing hyper, but you're going to carry through into wrap full. Right? Yeah. So what would that what that in. would mean would you'd probably just hop in this instance, though yeah. you could do wrap full from front side. It would just kind of be weird. And you you could reverse off. your dom, yeah. Yeah. I kind of I kind of picture it as reversing your dom. I, yeah, you honest. would have to kind of send it perpendicular, I think. Um, yeah. But it is. We just needed a place for carry through. This is the best place to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, th- this is not easy to do. Um, but we reverse pop cork after that. So you're landing your wrap full with your, both your legs together. A unified landing, and yeah. then you'll do basically a cork after that. It yeah. looks almost like a kick full. Yeah, exactly. But the main thing is you're picking up your leg before you start falling. Right. Um, and so then you'll land the reverse pop cork unified, mm-hmm. and we're going to bound into aerial. The bound that we'll be using is we'll land both feet unified, Take off unified and then land on our left foot mm-hmm. and then wrap it off our left foot into aerial. Yep. And uh, so that's basically, that's just a really fancy way of saying reverse pop cork bound aerial. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but but we'll yeah. Try to accurately describe it as it, it, Well, that's why I'm trying to give a good picture. So reverse pop, bound aerial, reverse pop cork, bound aerial, and then we're going to wrap swing into Again. a wrap full. Yep. So, but this is the first instance of wrap swing. The other one was a carry through. Um, so wrap, sw- wrap swing, wrap full, and then we're going to land on your left leg and you're going to skip rise, or skip mega rise. <laughs> you skip mega rise. And from yeah. there, you'll land on your left foot for left twisters and yeah. you'll immediately wrap it A-twist. So yeah. you'll jump it's off rapid. of that left leg landing mm-hmm. without any other feet touching and you'll A-twist alongside your dom, mm-hmm. along with it. Yep, and you're going to land left and you're going to redirect into ultra gainer. And what I mean by that is you're going to land left leg, do the redirect steps, you're going to end up in a swing position yep. into ultra gainer. So you're going to land gainer uh, into like, you know, the semi position, ultra position, whatever you want to call it. Um, Front swing and vergato. Yep. And we're going to end up... punch double full. Yep. So it has a dub at the end, so that's good. Yeah. You know, that means it's, it's a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> a combo that ends in a dub is a combo for me. Yeah. Yep. So I don't know. I want to see you guys try this combo. You can kind of mess with some of the, tweak it a little bit. You know what I mean? If you want to do full round instead of double full, I'm not opposed to that. Yep. Just make sure it has every transition in it. That's really the main point. Yep. I don't know if anyone can do this. No, <laughs> so I, don't, just, I don't think so either. But if you do lot. do it, we will share it and we will, oh, absolutely. you know, yeah. include you, tag you, whatever you need. <laughs> For your own validation. Exactly. But I don't know. I just thought it was a fun combo to come up with. Um, but, I mean, that was kind of this episode. It was just a lot of shit. Yeah, really, a lot of weird extra shit that we kind of discovered when we were talking about transitions. And mm-hmm. we spent a lot of time talking about transitions. Yeah. So. Exactly. Uh, and this was just something that we felt was, like, it, while it is very extra, it's something that mm-hmm. we felt should be included. I agree. Because of the doors it opens. Yeah. The possibilities you know uh and it's just a lot of cool stuff that's not done yeah i i feel like as we continue with this podcast we're getting to more and more obscure shit i like we're i mean we're starting to end off our like trick theory section we're gonna start talking about other stuff that isn't trick theory but as we're like getting to the end of it it's like we're just talking about weirder and weirder shit yeah <laughs> so it's stuff like that's more harder obscure and harder and harder to describe with like you know harder to describe verbally yeah uh, just difficult exactly but it's a logical conclusion so yep but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode Yep, um, do some really weird compound sequential transitions or compound 
unify transitions for us tag us in it we want to see mm-hmm. um yeah exactly and this has been talking tricks exactly thank you guys so much thank you as always to Stephen french for our logo alex hunter for being the logo yep and Stephen uh rogers, rogers for our intro <laughs> i almost said french again <laughs> and Stephen french for being him i hate that we have two steves <laughs> it's, it's bad i know it's the same way i love the two steves though but anyway uh talking tricks yeah hope you guys com. enjoyed this episode all right bye